Damn it. Oh, crap. There it is. Right here. Oh, it looks like some kind of pin. I think that's definitely silver. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Just poking around up here in front. I've already been over this area. Yep. Look at that. Award. Army. Some kind of military pin. I don't know, maybe somebody out there can ID that for me. Put E on it. What's E stand for? That's definitely sterling. Nice little pin. See if we're still rolling. See if the camera's still rolling here. Got some writing on the back. <clears throat> yeah, it says Sterling right there with some other writing on it. Cool. So when you thought you had the whole yard hunted out, I'm still getting stuff back here. This is the 1940s house that I've been detecting at. Good find. Okay, we're back out in the 1940s yard. I haven't been doing much other hunting except for back here in, in the neighbor's yard due to the health crisis, so just staying close to home. But this yard is finally starting to dry up. I might hit back in the left corner. So I don't think I've done back there too much. The last couple of weeks it still was wet as hell, but we'll see if we can get anything else today. deep iffy one but it's my first target depth meter four bars Let's see if we get it in uh, park park two barely showing up in park two but Here's park one. Kind of hitting in the high 80s, 90s. Let me dig this up and see what it is. And just when you think you got all the good signals out of an area, still getting them back here. And not as deep as I thought. See what we got. That'd be crazy if a silver coin on the first one, the first hole. Could have been on its edge or something. Could be junk. Probably is a little. Man, that didn't, I don't think that, that would ring up 90 something. Let me see what it's ringing up. It's definitely not ringing up 90 something. That was, might have something else down there. Okay, got that little piece of lead or something out of the hole, but I'm still getting that 90 signal. Okay, I just want to show this one last time before I give up on it. There's the hole. That's like... 
two gears carrots deep. Probably close to 20 inches and I'm... Still ringing up in the 90s. Here's the pinpoint. I'm thinking this is a big piece of junk that's down there. I mean, I'm not even getting a signal when I put the pinpointer in the hole. It's all the way down there. No signal. So that means I'm not even getting close to it yet. But so I can there's a big piece of junk or a jar of Morgan silver dollars, but <laughs> but it's probably the latter, so I'm gonna move on. That's junk. I think it's junk we got here. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's an old toy. It's like the fifth old toy I found back here. Looks like it's definitely an old train. Like a gas car. Like a train. I wonder if Tootsie Toy made trains out of the... I don't know if you can see that. It's like a gasoline car for a train. That's cool. If that's Tootsie, that'll be a good find. I'll take it home and see if there's any writing on it. That's a nice little coin signal. Maybe. What we got? No way. Check that out. I don't know if that's silver or not. That might be. It could be silver. We got something else down there too. Some kind of pin. Got my neighbor out in the backyard. I don't want to talk too loud. <laughs> she thinks I'm crazy. All right, look at that. 
Yeah, it's probably definitely not silver, not stainless. Front part looks silver, but that's pretty tarnished. That's a good find. Nail. Uh, no coins yet. Hopefully it's the first one. Hmm. The heck is that? A big chunk of something. Something. Some kind of junk relic. I don't know what that is. Well, here's that same hole with the uh, axle toy parts in it, but I did I did have a coin in there. I knew the signal sounded too solid. 1971 Memorial. First coin today. All right, here's a good signal. That dime or something. We got. is that? I don't know what that is. Some kind of shit. This piece of junk. I know that wasn't it. That did, definitely wasn't ringing up 80. Oh, snap. We got something. Look at that. Another. <laughs> What's that say? Merchant Marine, no way. It's definitely another silver. Somebody that lived here was in the Army or Marines or something because I just found that other military pin. Heck yeah. That's a nice one. I found a few. A few of these. Not much for coins today. <laughs> Two military pins, though. That's kind of rare. Eagle, blue in the middle. It says U.S. on it. I don't know if that's Vietnam or or older. I don't know. Yeah, it says Sterling right there. Sterling. Heck yeah, that's a good find. I'm glad I came out today. Now. Anybody got any info on that? Write in the description, or I mean, or leave a comment. Yep, 
Yeah, I was getting a nickel signal down here and I get this, uh, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a lighter top at first, but some kind of ancient artifact. Got some design on it right there. Maybe a medieval sword band or something. Joke. <coughs> it's cool, fine. Better than junk. favorite okay I'll never not buy an underwater detector again just so I can do that detecting the rain I don't do underwater hunting or anything but it's nice if you get caught in the rain you don't have to worry about it same with my camera GoPro and if you want to wash it off you just blast it with the hose but this is the 1940s backyard that I've been work working in and not many coins today. I think three coins, that was it. Been hitting that back corner. I got that marine pin right over there. And then I got the other army pin right about there. Kind of a weird day back here with no coins. I think this is the first time I hunted back here in a long time where I didn't find a wheat penny. But uh, that back corner seems to be a lot of junk and odds and ends. I found most of my coins right up here through the yard and a little bit back over here. Okay, a little wrap up here. Um, there's my coffee mug. Every Sunday, coffee with Liz. Um, here's the... Uh, this ended up being a Lone Star. I never heard of Lone Star. Lone Star Triple Zero train car. I guess 1960s. But uh, that's what that's the info I found on the internet. That little thing, which I don't think it is a toy, just some kind of some kind of nut or something. Only two two coins today. Two memorials. Um, in the beginning of the video, here's. The pin I found on Saturday, I had a short hunt in the backyard there on Saturday. So I just thought I'd include that clip with this video. Here's the, uh, some kind of little clip. Four pieces of jewelry in two, two days back there. That little clip, I don't think it's silver. I found this junk piece of jewelry today on a Sunday. This one was Saturday. There's the uh, medieval sword band. Um, the merchant marine pin from today. So, kind of four pieces of jewelry back there today. Or, or three, and then this one on Saturday. Which uh, was kind of a weird hunt, but I tried to hunt. This one was up front. And everything else was towards the back left corner. So I don't bother bringing in my trash because uh, it's messy as hell. There's a bunch of a bunch of can slaw back there today and nails and things like that. But but I'll do some more hunting back there. I haven't... I've been doing a lot of hunting back in that yard because of the uh, lockdown or whatever, you know, so... That's my wife's house, so I can be back there by myself without being bothered. And uh, 
But anyways, I'll I'll give. I want to try to get out to some new spots and. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.